Good evening. Now it's almost 11 p.m. And uh, this is gonna be my last video of today, but I still have uh, lots of the big content I haven't covered, which is uh, how to do the data binding in the form and uh, how to display the error messages when we have the validation. And uh, let me find some time tomorrow and uh, to record the videos for the timely flat part, okay? And uh, the last video of today, I'm gonna show you how to do the iteration expression. P and A H I F and uh, call the iteration, iteration expression. Okay. And here we'll say iter uh, iteration expression. Okay. And uh, how about I create another controller? It's better to name this one to have conditional expression controller. I forgot to add a controller here. And here we are call iteration expression controller. You can change, okay. And we have a controller. And the same thing here, we have a get mapping. And we're gonna go to iteration expression. Is it called iteration expression? Yes, iteration expression. Okay. And here we will have a public a string and uh, iteration expression. And here we have a model, model import. And here we are return iteration expression HTML. And uh, what I'm gonna do iteration is I'm gonna have uh, I will do an uh, array list here, okay? Linked list, which is uh, we have a person, right? Person, okay. And uh, in the person, we're gonna have uh, uh, people, okay? P E O P O E, okay? And uh, arrays dot as a list and uh, sorry guys i'm gonna took some shortcut and i just add another constructor which is uh, id and name okay and it goes back here and yeah, we are create some person let me drink some water very thirsty And the ID is integer, okay? The first one, let's call Josh, okay? Sorry, for this part, the person, and the two. The second one is called Mary. <laughs> okay, new person. Oh, let's use one princess name called Elsa, okay? All boy, all children likes, all children like Elsa, okay? I have three person, then I have I put in two attribute. The key, I will call people, P-O-P-O-E. And the value gonna be this people, okay? And now I'm gonna do is iterate inside this uh, time leaf page, okay? And exactly same thing, add a namespace. Okay, oh. HTTP, HTTP, double double dot, time, leave, dot, org, okay? And uh, here you can give a title more expressive called the iteration, expression, okay? And here, let's using uh, H1. And gonna be using iteration expression here, okay? And uh, let's create a table, okay? Very ugly table. And uh, I think it has something T, is it called T head? Let me try, okay? I couldn't remember T, T is it called T head? T head, I think T head, the TH, right? 
is called th. Couldn't remember. Tr. Oh, okay. Sorry, I couldn't remember. Let me go to the uh, HTML um, table. Head here. Oh, I was correct. Oh my god. Uh, which one is good? Let me pick up one. Uh, how about this one? With the bordered? Okay, okay. I'm just using the first one. How about that? This one, first one. Okay. And here, we copy and uh, paste it here. Okay. And the second one is uh, uh, bootstrap uh, get started and uh, copy this link okay otherwise we want to get a style okay okay and uh, let's change and this one gonna be the ID and this one gonna be the name right and uh, let me remove this one and we also we only keep one okay keep one and uh, this by default when i run you are gonna only has uh, one okay this is static and another thing we can give is we can have a d and uh, we can do is add a class called a container called a container okay and uh, format and we can go here again much better Good. Okay, so uh, let's go back to our code. And uh, this is a static content. We want this part to be dynamic, which is a retrieve value from our controller. Display the value for the people, right? How to do that? In the tier, this is the part you have to loop. Then using T H each. Okay, and give any variable you want for this p gonna represent each person inside this list okay and this gonna be the key in your model attribute this key okay and uh, this person this p any name you want okay and uh, for the first time for the row I will using ID, but later on I'm gonna show you how to have an index here, okay? And uh, this one, first time I'm gonna use the same value as I, ID, okay? Text, and here, using one, key dot ID, okay? I will use this one. And the same thing for uh, the actual ID, this is actual ID, right? ID okay this ID suppose uh, ID is uh, one okay and uh, the name is auto then by default here the name we have to using what p dot name okay this can be any variable it's like when using c for each then you have a variable var equals something okay and let's us uh, rerun, stop rerun. Do you see the value retrieved dynamically, okay? And here we had the expression. No, we should go to where well, we should go to the iteration expression. And the iteration expression, you will see one, two, three. This is the ID for now okay and this is the name this is the actual id okay and uh, let's go back i let me change a little part uh, a little bit on this part okay i don't want using one two okay let me using uh, nine one nine two so we will see the difference between the index and id rerun good and go back to the browser 
you will see now the index okay is the same as the ID. So let's go back to the HTML and suppose you want to see the index what you're gonna do okay this is the first one h2 uh, without index okay and uh, let's do another one I will copy the entire thing okay oh sorry two here here copy the entire thing this one is with index version one, okay? And uh, which the only change is here, I cannot, I don't want to using ID. I want to using index. How do that? You can have a comma and have one called iteration. And how display? You can using iter dot, see here? You can have a last all the size count current. You can have an index here. Okay, this is the, the way. And uh, let's see. Okay, redeploy, stop, rerun. And uh, how about uh, let me share the screen with the uh, browser? Okay, and uh, here it goes here. Good. And I'm gonna refresh. And uh, using reset, okay. See the difference? This uh, this nine one nine two is the same as uh, right as the ID in this case. And uh, in the version one with index, you will see I had another variable which using comma separate with the actual people representation. Okay, this is gonna. Uh, if you can from this ITER variable to get the size, to get the current, to get the index, to get the last, first, to all the even, all the values. Okay, so here this is index, but it unfortunately start with uh, the zero. Let's see the current. Okay, current and uh, rerun. Okay, and here, oh, current represented object. Okay, and this is using index. Okay, you can probably add one. Let me see if this way works. Okay, can do the uh, what's the thing? <coughs> Excuse me, can do the logical operation, and uh, okay, huh? perfect. Pre index start with zero and you can plus one start with one make sure okay this is the version one that's another one another version if you want to split index okay you make a copy and uh, where, which is the version two okay suppose you don't have uh, this one and uh, by default you have some convention uh, variable rep you can get the index and by conversion, what's the name? You using P, which is this variable name. Then you append STAT. And this is the default name represent the iteration, represent the loop, okay? And this is version two, okay? That's it. Stop, rerun. Exactly the same thing, but uh, you can use in the default uh, iteration variable. You can also give your own variable as you want using a, a comma to separate. Okay, so uh, that's it for the iteration expression uh, in time leaf. If you have any question, leave a comment. And uh, uh, what's, what should I say next time? Oh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.